guys, it's Betty from BakerBetty.com and welcome back to another video. Now today we are going to make souffle pancakes. Now these pancakes don't have any chemical leavening in them. There's no baking powder, no baking soda. We're just going to whip our egg whites and fold that into our pancake batter. And you're going to be amazed at just how fluffy these turn out. So let's go ahead and get started. Now our first step is to separate our eggs. So I have three eggs here and we are going to use both the whites and the yolks, but we need to separate them because we're going to whip those whites until they are really light and fluffy. So you wanna be really careful that you don't get any of your yolk into your egg white because those egg whites aren't going to whip up if there is any fat present in them and those yolks are fat. So I'm just going to separate these out and I'm gonna save my yolks over here in another bowl. Okay, now we're going to set our whites aside for just a moment and we're going to make the rest of our pancake batter. So I have in my bowl here one cup of all-purpose flour and we're going to add to that a fourth teaspoon of salt along with one teaspoon of vanilla extract and one cup uh, a third of a cup of milk, and I'm using whole milk, but if you wanted to use a 2% or a 1%, you could, um, but the whole milk is going to make them more rich. And then I'm going to add those three egg yolks into my bowl. Now I'm just going to whisk all of this together until it is combined, and that's it. Just a couple seconds to give that a mix. All right, now we're going to whip our egg whites into stiff peaks. So I have just those egg whites in my bowl here and I have a fourth cup of sugar on the side. So we're going to start by whipping those egg whites until they're starting to hold a little bit of firmness and then we're going to start pouring that sugar into our egg whites. Okay, so now that the egg whites are starting to hold some of that air, they're getting a little bit stiffer, I can go ahead and start slowly streaming in my quarter cup of sugar while I continue whipping these. And we're going to whip these until they get to stiff peaks. Now we are getting very, very close, um, but you do want to be patient with this. You don't wanna rush this step, otherwise your pancakes aren't going to be as light and fluffy. So be patient with it. Make sure you go all the way to stiff peaks. And we're there. All right, so now we can go ahead and um, add our egg whites into our batter. Okay, so the first step in folding egg whites into your batter is you're going to take about a fourth of the mixture and add it into your batter. And for this portion, we are going to stir it completely in. And you don't have to worry about deflating this part of the egg whites. This step is going to make it a lot easier to fold the rest of the egg whites in. Okay, so now for the rest of the egg whites, we are going to fold them in and we are going to be very gentle and make sure that we're not deflating all of that air that we just whipped into our egg whites. So I'm adding about half of what's left with those egg whites and now I'm going to gently fold it in. So to fold, you're going to take your spatula and cut down through the mixture and then bring the spatula back up as you turn the bowl 90 degrees. And this takes a little bit of practice, but you just want to be as gentle as possible. Okay, so that is mostly folded in. There's still a few white streaks, but that's okay. It will finish getting folded as we add the rest of the egg whites. So I'm going to add the rest of the egg whites in here. Okay, now once you stop seeing visible white streaks of egg whites, you are good to go. Okay, so I have my pan heating up here over medium heat. And now I'm going to add oil and butter into my pan. Now you can use one or the other, but I like to use a little bit of both because um, butter has kind of a low smoke point, so it can tend to burn. 
but I want the flavor of the butter in my cooked pancakes. So I like to use both because it will help the butter not burn and I'm still gonna get that butter flavor on the outside of my pancakes. Now you do wanna make sure your pan's not on too high of heat because these do take a little time to cook all the way through. And if your pan's on a really high heat, it's going to burn the outside of the pancake before it cooks through. So I've got medium heat, I have my fat in the pan, and then I'm using about a quarter cup per pancake. I like to use this little ice cream scoop or cookie scoop to portion them into my pan. And then you can kind of use the back of the spoon to spread it out a little bit and make it more circular if you like. Okay, now I'm going to let these set and just like regular pancakes with baking soda, there are going to be some bubbles that form on the top and then those bubbles are going to burst. And that's a really good indicator that it's time to flip them over. So be a little bit patient and let those cook on one side and then we'll flip them. Okay, so I'm starting to see bubbles forming on top and popping, which is a really good sign that we are getting ready to flip. And so I'm checking to see if they look browned underneath and they're starting to look really nice. So I'm going to go ahead and give them a flip very gently and carefully. Those are looking really nice. And I can tell my heat is getting a little warm, so I'm gonna turn that down a little bit. And now we're just going to let those continue cooking. It takes a few minutes on each side. These definitely do take a little bit longer than traditional pancakes, and that's just because we want all of that egg white to get cooked all the way through. Okay, so these have been going for a few more minutes on the second side. And if I touch them with my spatula and give them a little bit of a press, I can tell that they're firm all the way through. And when I peek underneath, they're browned on the bottom. So we are good to go. We can go ahead and turn our heat off and plate these up. So you can find the full written recipe for these souffle pancakes linked in the description box. And if you give these a try, make sure you let me know how you enjoyed them. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up and make sure you follow me at Baker Betty on Instagram and on Facebook. I'll see you guys next time with another recipe tutorial. Bye.